In 2013, Greater Napanee began down the road of cultural discovery. Council brought in a consultant group to create a map of our community's cultural assets and to create an arts and culture master plan. There was an incredible response from our community. The plan was completed and then passed by town council in the fall of 2014, and we moved to enact one of its first mandates, the creation of an official municipal arts and culture advisory committee. We wanted to create an ongoing line of communication between cultural groups and our residents in the central place. A Facebook page was created to inform, document, and share creative goings on in our community. Our group wanted to recognize, validate, and inspire the hard work of the long-standing and up-and-coming artists and cultural supporters in our community. So the Municipal Arts and Culture Awards were created. It's everything that holds our society together. It's everything. It's the tapestry of our community. That fun and that play and that meaning is what knits us all together. It's, it's absolutely critical for any community. It's a community that has a lot, a lot of artists in, in all disciplines. Um, so having an arts and culture committee is sort of creating an umbrella uh, over these different organizations. The committee continues to bring together groups and individuals to share information and resources, as well as to foster a spirit of collaboration, collective passion, accessibility and inclusivity. These goals were very much realized when Greater Napanee participated in its first ever Culture Days, a national celebration of culture. With over 45 events, Greater Napanee had one of the top Culture Days events in all of Ontario. The town of Greater Napanee is privileged to have a thriving creative community which contributes to an excellent quality of life for our residents. very good that Napanee Town Council has uh, established an Arts and Culture Committee because um, I think that formalizes a support and Council has given us this opportunity to really uh, help the arts community on their behalf. My experience with the uh, participating in the Arts and Culture Committee has been very uplifting to see that it's people driven, a great bunch of people, there is no prompting, everybody just wants to go ahead and make sure that it, that it works. Without arts and culture, um, and it doesn't matter what form it is, whether it's square dancing, whether it's old time fiddlers, whether it's groups getting get together at our local pubs to enjoy all the kinds of music. If we don't have that, it becomes a pretty limited world. I mean, when you think about where we even came from uh, and the cave paintings back on the savannah, so it's always been critical to a culture, the storytelling, the expression of, of who we are as a people. 
There's been a lot of uh, collaboration between some of the groups that already exist. Collaboration is a, is a huge thing that I see really happening. So we're certainly uh, very lucky to have this group. It's very welcome. We count on them uh, to help us to uh, continue getting stronger, well-known, uh, and to, you know, breach what's missing in there uh, and help us along the way. Cooperation, collaboration, is there another C I could use? It's been great.